Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is gonna be a Miami Swim Week vlog. I'm literally so excited. I have been getting ready for this event for the past two, three months and it's finally here. I'm about to catch a flight in like an hour to Miami to do my first ever Miami Swim Week 2022. I'm so excited. So I thought I would take you along and vlog the entire week, everything. If you don't know what Miami Swim Week is, basically it's just an entire week dedicated to a bunch of swimwear brands and it's their chance to kind of show off their new collections swimwear, beachwear, bikinis, all that stuff. If you're signed with an agency in Miami, you'll usually fly down there for swim week, stay the whole week, and go to castings for the brands, do a couple days of that, and then once they have their girls picked out, you'll walk the shows for them, and the shows are at night, so it'll just be, it'll just be so much fun. I just literally two days ago finished summer semester, so I'm ready to go to Miami, excited, anxious to see what it's like, but It'll be fun. I go to Miami a lot for work, um, but this is my first time going for swim week. So excited, all the emotions, everything. I can't wait to see what I book and how the castings go and everything. I think that's about it for now, but I can't wait to be there and to be back in Miami. It's been so long since I've gone. I think the last time I was there was October maybe. I booked a job there for polo. So I think the last time I was there was October. Let's freaking do it. Let's go more than four hours at 33,000 feet. A really nice evening to go flying uh, down to Miami. I have some white strips in. It is the first night before castings. I have castings tomorrow. I have five castings. I'm gonna be so freaking exhausted. This probably is crooked, but it works for the time being. Today was craziness. So I got into Miami at 5 a.m. and the hotel that I'm staying at wouldn't do early check-in. So I had to wait until 2 p.m. Landed at 5, took a cab to my hotel, waited until 2 p.m. So most of the day was kind of just spent on the beach. I did get a little bit tan for my castings tomorrow. I also grabbed a little black bikini from this little from this little shop down here. So I'm all ready for tomorrow in my pajamas because I need to go to bed, but I'm doing these little strips before I go to bed. I have to wake up decently early tomorrow and it's Miami time, which is three hours ahead of where I live, so it's a lot to get used to that. Every time I come here for work, I die from the time change. I curl my hair since I have to be up so early. I'll kind of explain what my day looks like tomorrow in case I don't get footage, because I just feel like I'm gonna be running around all over Miami and not have time to really talk to you guys. Starting off at 9 a.m., I have to really quickly head to my agency because I don't have comp cards, and I need comp cards to take with me to the casting. But Basically, if you're not into modeling, comp cards just say your name, your agency, big picture of you, like your headshot, and then your measurements and social media and stuff. I'm gonna go pick those up from them. They said they'd be ready by today, and they open at nine, so I'm gonna go right away and grab those. And then I have two castings back to back. And then I have one that I have to kind of drive a little far for, so I'll have to get an Uber for that. And then I have another casting after that, and then I have a fitting. The fitting is like pretty much a confirmed booking. They just need to make sure that the clothes fit and the bikinis work and stuff like that. So that's basically what I'm ending my day with is a fitting. It's the night before my first full day of swim week castings. I'm a little bit anxious to see what it's like. I'm not really nervous because I definitely know that I can handle it and I've done 
a lot of scary things in my career so I, I know that I'm ready for it but I'm just anxious to see what it's like you know you're doing something for the first time it's always gonna be a little bit nerve-wracking so I'm excited I have good positive vibes anyways I'm gonna finish this up take these out and then go to bed see you for the first day of castings Hi guys, so I haven't been able to talk to you yet, but I just finished my visit with my agency. I think I told you guys last night that I had to do that. Um, I had to pick up some comp cards. So I picked up a bunch of those at the office and all my agents were in today because swim week is a very big deal and it's very busy for them, so they were all there. It was great to see them. They are like the sweetest, best people. They literally just hype me up every time that I go there and they're so sweet and supportive and amazing. It's currently 10.09. I have my first casting at 11 today, so I'm gonna head over there probably at like 10.50 because it's super close to my hotel. All of the castings are at hotels. So usually the client will like rent out the ballroom or some outside area where they can hold the casting and then tons of girls will go. And yeah, I have a really busy day of castings. I'm talking to you now because I'm not sure how long I'll have to film everything and you know, talk to you guys let's do it okay I just finished the first casting there was like 200 girls so I didn't film at all but it's hot I'm tired on my way down to the next one I'm walking in my slides because I'm gonna get blisters if I walk around in heels but I waited for like an hour so on the way to number two Just finished second casting. I'm so tired and hot. I did like a little clip of that, but we had to like walk in front of like 100 people and everyone was staring at you. Made some friends, met some girls from my agency. Yeah, it was good. I just finished number three. I'm so sorry to film. I'm just super busy and it's really hard to film, especially because it's the first day and I don't want to like be unprofessional and take a camera out, but it was um, a casting slash fitting and I think I booked it. I saw the designer and she said I like fit everything well and that I was perfect for the show so I think I booked that for sure. Now I have two more cast, oh no, one more casting which is actually at my agency and then I have a fitting then I'm done for today. My head hurts also because I haven't eaten today. I had fruit this morning and that's it. Okay, just finished castings day one. It went really well. I'm having a little quesadilla to hold me over because I'm starving. I think I for sure booked two shows and it's 6.15, so my day is done. Tomorrow I got my schedule and I only have three, two castings and I have a meeting with Wilhelmina, New York. So that'll be really exciting. I think for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna relax and rest and shower eat dinner later and that's about it. It's now 7.40, I've been back for a little while now just relaxing, changed into some comfy clothes. I'm also editing this vlog. Today I for sure confirmed two shows. I booked two of them. The first one was like a fitting type thing. It was kind of like go see the client if they like how you look in their clothes then they'll for sure confirm you. So I got confirmed for that show. Okay, for the second show that I confirmed, I wasn't even on the list of the girls that were supposed to be there. I wasn't even on it, but my agent sent me the email to be there. It made sense on my end that I was supposed to go, and then I go to check in, and the lady's like, yeah, you're not on the list. I don't see a Noelle here. I was like, do you want me to call my agent? Like, what should I do? They were like, you can just hop in the line, make sure like any of the girls that are actually on the list go before you, and then you can just go last. And I got there kind of towards the end, so I was like, okay, it's fine, whatever. So there was like 30 girls waiting in this long hallway. I think I took a video of it. So once we all finished walking at the casting, they told everyone to stay and wait in the hallway. And whoever got picked for the show or got booked would stay, and then whoever didn't would just leave and go back to the hotel. And then they called me and only one other girl that booked the show. That was great, so I had to stay for an extra hour and do a fitting for the show and pick out all my looks and make sure everything fit right. I forgot to mention that I have to register for fall classes for school, so I'm doing that right now. Just the life of a model and a student. And I'll probably go and get dinner soon.
so I just left the casting. I didn't even get to be seen because there was just too many girls. I'm walking back to my hotel because my agent told me that I have to meet with New York and I'm gonna miss the meeting. So I'm gonna do my meeting first and I probably go back. I just finished my meeting with Wilhelmina, New York. I just met with one of the agents, it's super quick. I didn't even film it because it was so quick. Now I'm back to my hotel room for a little, and then I'm gonna go to the casting after because that's what my agent told me to do. I'm just gonna wait for the line to die down a little and then go. So, let's see how I just finished my last casting for today. Basically, what happened was I switched around the meeting with New York and the casting, so I did them kind of backwards. Yeah, I'm done now for the day. The day is finally done. That's why I look so wrecked right now. My agent just sent over my final schedule for the week. I do not have a flight booked yet back home. So I have no idea when I'm going to be home. Tomorrow is probably the last day of like full castings. I have a bunch of fittings for the shows I booked four shows but I can only do three because two of the shows fall on the same day at the same time which sucks because I want to be able to work for everyone that I can but it's not possible so yeah today I think I showed a little bit earlier in the clips but there was just hundreds of girls in the lobby of the hotel that the casting was for just tons of girls like I literally had to leave early and come back because the line was just insane I had to wait for it to die down um, I wasn't able to register for classes for fall yesterday because the site kept crashing and then once it finally loaded it said I had like an issue where I couldn't register so I had to call admissions of course admissions doesn't accept calls today so anyways that's all for Tuesday the 12th see you back tomorrow good morning I'm walking to my fitting for a show for one one swim it's a hot one for sure On the way to my fitting at the show tonight. Sorry, I haven't been talking. I've been really busy. This elevator is cool though. <laughs> Done with the fitting. It was literally five minutes long. Everything fit really well. Now I'm gonna chill to my first show. Hey everybody. So today is day four of swim week. I had a fitting this morning I showed you guys a little bit of. I'm so sorry I haven't had time to sit down and film and talk with you guys and kind of explain the chaos. There's been a lot going on these past few days and it's kind of hard to like pull out a camera and talk and have time. I barely have had time to eat or really much time for anything. It's just been castings, fittings, getting things ready for the show. I've done all the fittings for the shows so I'm all ready to go. I have my first one tonight, you guys. I'm so excited slash anxious, a little nervous, but I know I'll do fine. First runway show ever, so that's really exciting. It's currently like 1 p.m. My call time for the show is three. It's super close to my hotel, so I think I'll probably just walk to the backstage area and start getting hair and makeup done, and we're gonna have the rehearsals and stuff. It's gonna be a big day. Um, also, for those that don't know, swim week fashion shows happen at night, so the show is going to be 7 to 10 p.m. I believe, but yeah, I guess we'll see you guys when I'm off to the show. Let's do it.
Okay, I'm back. I just finished walking my first show of swim week. I still have my makeup on. I can't even believe that I just walked a show. It was insane. It was so much fun. I wasn't really nervous on the runway and it was such a good experience to have. And I had about six different looks. So each time that I went out on the runway and came back, I had to change and keep doing that until I was out of looks and it was so much fun. I just had the best time ever. So I'm so glad I got to film it for you guys and show you a little bit of behind the scenes, backstage and stuff. But yeah, I have another show tomorrow and then another show Saturday, so yeah. I'm watching the Victoria's Secret documentary of the show. It's so interesting and I just started it. Hi guys, so it's Saturday morning. I have a show tonight. I was supposed to leave tomorrow morning, but my agent just called me and confirmed me for a show tomorrow night. My flight is already booked. So I'm trying to figure that out and change it so I can be able to go to that show tomorrow. Modeling is very last minute. My skin's also like breaking out from so many makeup artists touching it and using brushes that were used on other people. A lot is going on. I still haven't registered for fall classes, but I'm really happy I booked another show. Yeah, my agents are great though. They definitely have been pushing for me and trying to get me booked. And so I was under the impression that I was gonna just leave on Sunday because I didn't have anything booked and for most of the week there was nothing on Sunday. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go home early so I can kind of get back and situated. And she booked me something last minute, which I'm so thankful for. Like I'm really happy and I need more exposure and it's good for content. Just finished my last swim week show. So, I just finished my last show of swim week. Oh my god, I'm currently trying to take this makeup off. It's really dramatic. <laughs> so please don't roast me. I you know I look really ugly. The shows are done. It's Sunday night. Well, Technically Monday. It's like 1.30 in the morning. I can't believe I'm talking and showing myself like this online. Anyways, tomorrow is my last full day here. Um, I was supposed to go home this morning and be back already, but I had to stay for the shows tonight. So then now I'm going home Tuesday morning. Tomorrow's like my only day to finally enjoy vacation and not have to work and just Enjoy Miami Beach and lay out and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last day of This trip swim week is officially over. I'm exhausted But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night